Hello. Um, I decided to redo my video because I wasn't too happy with the way it turned out. Um, once again, I have my face. And then face. Um, these colors are very close to each other. But up here, you can see the difference. Um, I have to have my eyebrow covered. <sighs> so. And on this video, I will be applying um, my false eyelashes. And it's got to be packed in from the front of my hand, so. Obviously, you want to shave your face really close up and down and apply. Moisturizer. I use Mary Kay Time Wise because it helps like brighten up my skin and my makeup. I find personally my makeup goes on better. So, first thing I'm going to do, again, I'm not going to apply powder over it this time because I know. I don't feel like doing it. Um, I don't know. You just want to put values on all this stuff. It's very And sorry, the lighting is kind of bad. But oh, I also want to do my eyebrow while I got this out. I use my camera stuff. Um, so I usually start covering it right in the middle of the eye. Yes, you still want to see a little bit of your eyebrow, but the color over it, so it turns out okay. Um, you can use glue or wax. I don't like those methods because glue is very hard to apply makeup over, over, and wax tends to chip off in the middle. Embarrassing. And yes, it has happened to me before. I'm going to hope it not happened to you guys. Alright. I am going to first, um, you can use setting powder or baby powder. Both works just as good. It helps keep the skin dry and prevent it from getting shiny and like smear. Um, once again, you do darker, lighter, beta powder, or setting powder. And this will help for under the eyes. You want to put a little bit over the eyebrow. right here was for like a triangle, kind of like an upside down triangle. Oh no, this way, a normal triangle, I'm sorry. And this is more of a roundish face. 
and then cover the eyebrow. Put right there. Right there. Now we're going to move on to contour. And that's it. 